All right, you ready for the SDS 100? Well, like I said, I was improving my demeanor on this, well, um, these videos, but let's just put it this way. Um, I've been having a charging problem, and I understand that you have to have the right cable, you have to have the right charger to plug that plugs into the wall or plugs into a strip, whatever it might, may, might be. Maybe that's the problem I'm having. I'm plugging into a strip. But, um, and the leather case could be the reason why it overheats sometimes. I plug it in, and while it's plugged in, and I'm listening to the scanner, I charge it. Because sometimes I listen to it during the day, and I want to charge it while it's scanning at night. Um, but if you completely drain the battery almost, it won't charge overnight, even if it stays charging, because it takes a long time. There's got to be a way to fix that and improve it. Not to mention, it seems like the connector is getting a little loose, because when I plug it in sometimes... It, it flashes that red or green thing will flash and then it won't go on and then maybe I have to plug it in again What a pain in the ass You have like a one-year limited warranty with this thing And I don't think this co is covered even if you still have a warranty So people are pretty much shit out of luck. My best advice to anybody is is it just, just hope you don't have any problems in the near future What sucks so much about scanners compared compared to any other product you have, it's all the, the keys you use for like DMR, Pro Voice, or NXDN, the digital modes, which I know literally nothing about. All those keys you have are stuck inside the scanner. So if you destroy a scanner or something catastrophic happens to it, you're like shit out of luck and you just have to go buy a new, new scanner and add on at least $50 or 60 if you um, you did what I did. And um, the second time around, I bought the keys from United themselves, which was a smarter thing to do than to pay Scanner Master or somebody $75, which is a complete ripoff. They 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 have a they have all their pride at their companies, but they're overcharging everyone a lot of money, which I think is unacceptable. Um Well, that's all that's really all I wanted to mention was that cable problem. If people have a cable, um that's a USB cable that's meets the specifications as high speed and you get the right voltage or whatever it is for the adapter. Um, <laughs> I bought an official one from United I, I read right off of their website. So there's no reason why it shouldn't work. It should have enough juice. I think here's a problem. It's charging the battery. It's scanning. Everything's fine. But as soon as you start to record, I think it uses a lot more it has to use a little more power. And that's what sucks about it. It really does. Um, the battery, um, let's just say I bought a whole new clip. I told everybody about that fiber clip, carbon fiber clip. And I'm going to use that next time around. First, I'm going to let this shitty one break because I don't, I don't feel like changing it again. Well, when the battery expands, I can tell you more about that. That'll happen eventually. I expect a year from now. So it's July. Next July, June, or August, it's going to break again because the battery is going to expand because it already happened twice. People say there's no problem with this. Well, how can there be no problem um, if it keeps happening? All right. Well, I'll see what else there is to say about this radio, but I don't think there's going to be much to talk about, but there probably will be. I'll find stuff. Bye-bye.